Hey guys, so yesterday we talked about one of the circuits. There's five different circuits that are, uh, affect the carb reader and how it works. So the first circuit I talked about yesterday was the float circuit, okay, or the bowl circuit. So what happens here, just to recap, is gas goes in here, it fills up this bowl with gasoline, and um, that gas has uh, ambient air pressure on it or atmospheric air pressure from outside on the top of it and it also has it on the bottom when the car is not running now once the car starts to run um, it's, it gets a vacuum underneath these throttle valves okay if you remember the throttle valves are the flapper there so underneath the throttle valve we start to get a, a difference in um, air pressure which is less and the greater air pressure up here inside the bowl starts gas coming out these little jets right here actually they're not jets but where the um, uh, the uh, air screws are for the needle valves okay there's one on each side here I don't know if you can see that there too well but that's where they're at and that's where the gas comes in this next circuit so this circuit is called the low speed or idle circuit so here's what happens. Gas fills this bowl up. Okay? The metering rods that go inside the jets, now the jets are down at the bottom there, the brass little pieces, okay? The fittings you see down inside there. There's one on each side. These rods go inside those jets. And you can see that these rods are thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom. So what they basically do is allow a certain amount of gas that's predetermined to go through those jets and what happens is the gas goes through the jets goes into what's called a mixing bowl or a mixing well and air mixes with the gas now in this venturi system here and think of a venturi all it is is um, like a straight tube with the middle squashed in this these are two small venturis and then the, the chamber, the uh, carburetor itself has, is made to be like two big venturis. So they, you know, make a, a, um, a, a suction or a uh, vacuum to be able to pull gas in there. So anyway, the gas goes through the, meter, through the jets into a mixing well. And then air goes down through these screws. There's holes in the tops of these bolts here, or these screws. Goes all the way down through, and air goes through there mixes with the gas and is pulled through these needle valve holes now that's you'd have when you adjust the needle valves that are right here when you adjust those needle valves that is uh, they are pointed into these holes from the back side so if you turn them all the, w the way in you'll actually see them sticking out there like little uh, look like little nail heads sticking in into the uh, chamber there but anyway, that's where the gas comes when the car is idling. So when the car is idling or at low speed, the throttle valve here is closed. Now if I open the throttle valve and you look in there, you can see that there's like a slit in there. Okay, on both sides there's like a slit. And this slit um, allows air, because of, of the air pressure on the top here is higher, it allows air to push gasoline through the, wet, the mixing well and out the area where the little holes are. Okay, so that's the low speed or the idle um, circuit that we're talking about. Okay, now once you, uh, they have what's known as the main metering circuit once you give the car gas and you open the throttle valves up when you open the throttle valves you're now um, lowering the air pressure down inside here because you you would think that when you give the ca the car more gas that it would actually make more vacuum but it's just the opposite of that because when you allow air into there you lower the vacuum pressure that's inside or the you know what the uh, pulling power of the um, 
the pressure, the air pressure, which is like I say known as vacuum. So what happens then when you start to open these valves up, they change the ability of the car to feed gas in to the um, engine so they stop going through the jets and gas now starts to work its way up and out the jets that are inside these two venturi tubes okay there's one on this side one on that side so you get a suction or a vacuum made with the venturis that are part of the actual carburetor body and then you get an additional sort of jetting action that works from these two venturis themselves they're miniature venturis so in you have the uh, the bowl circuit the idle circuit and now you have the the uh, main circuit or the um, you know high speed circuit or you know fa anything faster than an idle and that's what's going to uh, make the gas come out these vents up in here so it's pretty neat the way they have this thing all figured out and all and how it works um, I need to put this back together then and show you I'll show you one of the other metering parts of this there's actually this piston that goes up and down it works with vacuum and the, it actually pulls the rods in and out of the jets to allow a certain amount of gas to go through the carburetor into the engine I'll explain that more tomorrow to you after I put it back together but I have to get it together to be able to adjust those meters so, I mean the metering rods so anyway that's where we're at so far with this it's just another um, part of putting it back together that crunching in the background is my dog eating coal from my stove believe it or not I don't know what he sees in the coal he just ate supper but that's his snack So. Uh, also one of the other things is when you initially open the uh, throttle valve there's like a little lag there because you're opening the throttle valve and you don't have quite enough gas until the air pressure changes and makes the gas come out these venturi tubes so what happens there is you have this accelerator pump here so this pump when you step on the throttle and you open this up this pump pushes down in here which forces fuel into and out of that idle mixture on the bottom and helps to force air force the fuel up through and out the venturi tubes okay and that's basically how this works so this this is a like a fast idle pump in other words once it starts uh, once you start to um, once you start to go faster than an idle and you start to give the car gas and you work this thing the metering rods you can see the metering rods there are moving as well okay the metering ro rods work with this to open and close the holes on the jets to, to help with when the vacuum occurs it helps to be able to keep the gas the right amount of gas going into the um, the mixing well or the mixing bowl so that it comes as uh, either gas that's mixed with air for idle or raw gas itself will come out the top here that's not mixed with air but it'll mix with air as it goes down through this venturi so I'll give you more about this later on that's how far I am now and I'm going to put uh, finish putting this back together I'll go over the choke and stuff probably tomorrow bye have a good one